Amazon will require you to have a business address. The thing that's a little bit iffy about this is if you use your home address, customers can technically find that. I don't think it's the end of the world to use your home address and I know a lot of people do it that way, but can I use a USPS PO box for my business address? The short answer is yes, you can. However, What's up guys, you're listening to another episode of Selling on Amazon with Andy Isom. Can I use a PO box for my Amazon business address? This is a question that has come up quite a bit over the past few years, but I don't think I've ever recorded a dedicated podcast episode about this. So if you are in this situation, this is going to be a great and hopefully insightful podcast for you. Let's just jump right into it for this episode today. Amazon will require you to have a business address. The thing that's a little bit iffy about this is if you use your home address, customers can technically find that. Now, it's not super in your face on Amazon. You do got to kind of dig around a little bit to find it. But if customers click on the right buttons, then they can find your personal home address. So I understand why that can be a little bit cringy, you know, for a lot of people out there. Like, you know, I, you know, totally, I mean, I really don't want a lot of people knowing my home address, but again, like it's not the end of the world. Like the way that we look at it is there's so, there's so much personal information available on the internet today that I don't know how terrible is it if people figure out where your business address is, but it actually is your house. Like, is that the end of the world? I'll just say that we've used our home address for our business for the past four years and we've never had an issue with it. So, you know, I don't think it's the end of the world to use your home address. And I know a lot of people do it that way. But again, I do understand kind of the iffiness of using your home address. And so a lot of people ask, can I use a USPS PO box for my business address? The short answer is yes, you can. However, I don't personally recommend it. There's a lot of downsides to using a PO box versus some other, some other options that we're going to talk about here in this episode. Some of the downsides of a PO box is a PO box just gives you a number, not an actual address, which can cause some problems, which we'll talk about here in the episode. A P.O. box also doesn't offer any additional services. It's literally just the box. You get really no support. A P.O. box doesn't tell you when certain deliveries arrive. So you don't get notified when you have a package or mail or whatever. So you're just going to have to frequently check it, which is kind of annoying. And a P.O. box is only available during business hours. So some limitations there as well. So those are kind of some of the downsides of a P.O. box, but technically you can use a P.O. box according to Amazon as of recording this episode. Now, if you really don't want to use your personal home address as your business address, an option that I highly recommend is a UPS store mailbox. So this is different than a P.O. box from like the U.S. Postal Service. A UPS mailbox is through a UPS store. Now, some of the pros of a UPS mailbox are that a UPS store mailbox gives you a real street address instead of just a PO box number. So you'll actually have a physical address. A UPS store mailbox also includes services. So you get professional help from their team. The UPS store mailbox services will send you a text to let you know of package arrivals, which is really nice. And the UPS store mailbox services have many locations that provide 24 hour access to your mail. With a USPS, I have to really focus so I don't mess up USPS and UPS because they almost sound the same. With a USPS PO box, technically they do not receive packages from UPS or other major shipping companies. So technically a PO box can only receive packages and mail from USPS, from the US Postal Service. Well, for anyone who's selling on Amazon or have you know done your research, 
most packages coming from Amazon are coming from Am- like we're talking returns or other things. They're coming from Amazon's own shipping network or they're coming from UPS. UPS is Amazon's partnered shipping provider. Okay. So if you're trying to get returns or removals sent to your PO box for USPS, they might be rejected because those are not USPS packages. Those, those return and removal requests that you're, you're requesting from Amazon, those are coming via UPS. So having a UPS mailbox makes a lot more sense. The other thing is with document consistency. Sometimes if you get your account suspended or reviewed or run into some issues, they might want you to verify things. Verify bank statements, verify business statements and documents. And if you just have a P.O. box, you might run into some issues, especially if with your business bank account, you're using a different address, right? If like all these addresses aren't mis- aren't matching up, you could run into some issues there getting verified. A really great solution, guys, to this as well is to work with our friends over at Doula. You can hit me up on Instagram or I can drop, I'll put my my link here in this episode to reach out to Doula. But as part of their LLC business setup package that they offer for $199, an incredible price, an incredible deal in my opinion, they will actually do all this for you. They'll set up your business LLC, they'll set up your business bank account, they'll set up your address, they'll set up your registered agent. So all of this like business setup, what we're talking about here with like your business address and all this kind of stuff, they'll do all that for you. So it just is a really easy hands-off service. And they have done this for hundreds of Amazon sellers in the United States and outside the United States. So if you're listening and you don't live in the United States and you're like, how do I get a business address in the United States? Just go work with our friends over at Doula. I'm telling you, it is one of the best solutions out there to get all this set up super easy. You don't got to worry about all the online paperwork. They will make sure that they're dotting the I's and crossing the T's for you. So again, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to jump on that service, an incredible service and offer. I've talked to the CEO Arjun multiple times. He's even been on my podcast. So you can go check out that podcast episode as well. If you want to learn more about their services, some things to keep in mind here, guys, with the uh, USPS store mailbox, It does cost money, obviously, but the pricing is dependent on the location. USPS stores are actually independently owned, so they have some freedom to like set their own pricing and and whatnot. So keep in mind, like the pricing might be different depending on which UPS store you go to, but they're going to give you your own address. So they're going to give you a PMB private mailbox uh, number, and then they're going to give you an address. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, somewhere street in a city, state and zip code. So you'll get the the street address, city, state, zip code, along with your PMB or your number for your mailbox number. They also have multiple sizes available, multiple mailbox sizes. And again, that's just going to depend on your neighborhood location. So if you go to the UPS store website and you click on, you know, mailbox, they're going to have you find a store and they're going to have you contact them. Because again, like for the pricing, it's going to be dependent on what size mailbox you choose um, and kind of maybe some of the other services. I'm just looking here. I'm actually just on their uh, UPS store mailbox FAQ just to share some of maybe the important information that you guys might want to know about it. Um, A lot of the stuff here as far as like, what's the minimum length of an agreement? What is the service agreement? Pretty much all of these FAQs say contact your neighborhood location for details. Because again, they're all kind of independently operated. So it's going to depend like the length of the agreements and whatnot are going to depend on the the uh, local UPS store that you're working with. Here's some other good questions though that might come up or you might be considering. How much mail can I receive at my mailbox? The UPS store associate at your local store will help you determine the size of the mailbox best suited for your needs. So again, just contact them. What if I receive more mail than can fit in my mailbox? If you expect a continued increase in the volume of mail you receive, you may wish to upgrade to a larger mailbox better suited for your needs. Can I receive packages in my mailbox from other carriers? Again, this was one of the issues with USPS PO boxes. You can receive packages from any carrier with your mailbox agreement. Let's see what other questions here. <laughs> this is cool. Can you forward my mail if I'm away? So like if you're not able to go pick up your mail at the UPS store? Yes. The UPS store offers mail forwarding services for mailbox holders. The representatives at the store can forward your mail to you anywhere you are. Additional charges may apply, obviously. They can also hold your mail while you're away. They have mail holding services. Again, additional charges may apply. Can I call to check if I have mail? Yes. They offer a call in mail check. Save time, save a trip. Call us to find out if you have mail. When can I pick up my mail? 
If you're a mailbox holder, you can pick up your mail whenever it's convenient. Our locations keep a mail, keep your mail secure, and most locations offer 24 hour access. So yeah, a lot of good services there. So that's why I'm saying it's a much better option than a PO box from like USPS. Again, you're going to have to find out what the uh, pricing is for that. So find your closest UPS store, reach out to them and just let them know what you're doing. Like just tell them straight up. I'm sure you're not the first person that's contacted them about something like this. So just tell them, yo, look, I'm, I'm starting a business on Amazon. You know, obviously I have to have a business address. I don't want to use my home address because people on Amazon can see it. So I've, I've heard about using a UPS mailbox as my address and I just want to see uh, what's the best option for me and, and get some like quotes on pricing and whatnot. So again, that's something you can do if you want to reach out to UPS. Also, again, you can reach out to our friends over at Doula and explain the same situation and uh, kind of see what they would recommend as well if you decide to go that route, I guess, working with them with setting up your business and all that kind of stuff. Guys, that's it. Simple episode today, but I think it's something that a lot of people are interested in and want to know about. So hopefully, again, this quick episode was insightful for you guys. Guys, thank you so much for showing the love, for the reviews, for the messages. It means a lot to me. I know I'm kind of slow getting to uh, messages sometimes on Instagram. My request inbox gets bombarded, and there's a lot of spam that I get. Uh, from people pitching stuff and services and whatnot. So I apologize if I'm slow to get into your messages, but please know that I do see them and I do really, really appreciate them. So thank you guys so much for making this the number one Amazon FBA podcast in the world. Once again, guys, I'm Andy. You're listening to Selling on Amazon with Andy Isom. We'll see you in the next episode. Mm-hmm.